G'day everyone, Paul Daniels here. Tonight, I got a bit of a, um, a beg for help, as it were. There is a file format for board views that I would like to be able to decode. And I have been putting in the hours trying to reverse engineer this file format. And I've gotten certain portions worked out, but there are areas in this file format that are... Well, I just don't seem to be smart enough to work it out. The file format is known as the Tebow view or TVW suffix file format. And often we are now seeing boards such as the Lenovo laptop series being offered in this uh, Tebow view file format. Now, I have already emailed the people who create this uh, compound file format, but so far as we can expect, I've had no response from them and I really don't expect there to be any response from them. There is only one non-commercial program that I know of that can decode this file format or at least they do not seem to be affiliated with Tebow View. Uh, so it lends me to the idea that there must be a format specification out in the wild somewhere. Or at least I hope so. Either that or the person was just brilliant and they decoded it themselves. So I would like to be able to get my hands on that specification. Or if I can't get that, you know, a brain upgrade so I can work this out myself would be also just as good. Now, I am actually happy to pay a couple of hundred US dollars to get my hands on this format specification. So that I can write my own format importer for things like Open Board View and FlexBoard View. I'll dive quickly into what this Tebo format is like. As I said earlier, it is or it appears to be a compound, uh, an amalgamated, uh, packed file format. It's a mixture of, well, it is essentially just a binary file, but the nice thing is that it is not encoded, it is simply just binary format as in kind of like a database format but it doesn't have any encryption on it anything like that and if we, this is the hex view of a fairly small file and it's a fairly it initially seems like a fairly straightforward looking format up the top we seem to have a constant signature of this 095w whatever that seems to be fairly common amongst all of them the Specific data to the file format itself sort of starts around about here and then we get this is like the header block here and then we get our first layer as it were which seems to be derived from a given file so whatever the source that this program uses to create these files it seems to be individual files for layers or at least initially. One of the first things that you work out about this format is that it uses a size prefix string system. So the very first byte we see here, it's like a OE at the start of the string. And then we'll find if we actually count off OE um, bytes, which is down here, it is the length of the string. So strings in this file format are defined as size first up to 255 characters, and then the string itself. Now, I don't know really what the format of all this stuff is. Judging by the way it looks here, I'm going to say that's coordinate data. From what I can tell, the default dimensioning system is one hundredths of a thou. So, you know, hundred thous. And they use a four byte signed integers for this and so all this data here does appear to be uh, coordinates of some sort and then between every section there appears to be a block that starts in most cases with seven and then four and then a whole bunch of zeros and then it goes three two one and then starts with the string of the next um, segment. Now, uh, all of these layers we actually don't really care about. What we care about is when we get almost to the end, or at least it feels like that, and then we have the actual network names being listed, 
And interestingly, it does tell you how many networks to expect. So funnily enough, OE, so yeah, we've got 15, 14 networks. And if we count it, we end up with 14 networks. There is this section here, which is like start this probe DB, spear B, spear B, 50 mil, 10 mil, 75 mil. I don't know what this section is. I don't know what it's specifying. It does seem to be common amongst all the files that I've looked at. Things like tri-spear. Um, I just don't understand what I'm looking at right now. Even things like press bar big, press bar small. And we keep going until eventually we get to where they start to define the actual parts. Um, I'm trying to find one that, okay. So we've got this part here, JOD4, which is some sort of connector. And then we have a bit of a header here. And I've actually managed to break this down, at least to, to this sort of bit of information. So we have the part name, we have its dimension, uh, its uh, bracketing or block size, its center point, its rotation. And then there's a few fields I don't understand. And then there's the metadata information, such as, yeah, 100K resistor, things like that. And we also then get the package information. So it tells you what the actual device is, like 0603 or a connector like this. Then we have this block here, this SPD. I don't know what it is, but it seems to be of a fixed length and it's on the end of every part. It may be some sort of unique identifier. I don't know. You know I haven't been able to correlate it yet. And then the most important part is we then get to the actual pins. Most of the other data, we can ignore almost everything, but the main thing you want in to be able to decoding a board view format is to be able to know the parts, have the pins correlated to the part, which we have here, that part I've got, and then ultimately being able to know what networks the, is on the pin. So, you know, pin two is a ground pin, things like that. And this is where I've sort of run into trouble and this is where I'm asking for help now is that I cannot find a correlation or a translation table that converts the information I know or at least believe to be the network identifier to the actual network names. This will make it easier for us to see what I'm dealing with. So pin one. All right, this section, these characters here, they are actually part of what I believe to be a four byte integer that relate to the network that is on that pin. An interesting attribute is that even if all the pins are on ground, every subsequent pin, not always, but in order, but every pin, even if it's on the same network, has a unique number which increments by eight every single time. So you'll start out, say ground is for whatever reason starts at zero, then the next one's going to be eight, the next one's going to be one, eight, uh, one zero as in hex, so 16, and the next one's going to be two zero and so on. So you can actually see it here, so it's like one eight, two oh, two eight, three oh, three eight. So they're going to probably be all the same um, pin, the, the same network. And then when you go to another network, it can jump around to something else. Like it might be CE00, then CE08, things like that. So I don't know why it's incrementing by 8 every time. I have tried factoring that out as in bit shift by 3 to the left, uh, sorry, to the right and see if it comes back to the network, but it doesn't. The other thing is, for those who are thinking ahead a lot quickly, a lot quicker, is that 
you are limited to only a certain number of networks then that will fit within the greater portion. Like if you keep going up by eight, uh, you're going to blow out on that byte pretty quickly. Uh, and so it does seem like it pushes it again, it increments it again, like to the next byte. So I'm not sure what's going on there. If I seem vague, it's because I just don't know. I kind of think I see it every now and then, but I really feel like I'm just either too close to this format. My nose is in too deep. I mean, I have been, you know, last couple of weeks, it's just been like, you know, paperwork upon paperwork, notes, you know, all sorts of bit mappings. I'm trying everything to try and, you know, reverse engineer this. What have I got here? And then I was working out dimension data. At least I got that worked out. So yeah, if you know the specification of the Tebow view file format, I would really like to see it. I'd really like to work out how they've done this. The ego inside of me wants to try and work it out myself so I can say, yes, I solved that. Unfortunately, the realist in me says maybe, you know, maybe I'm past my immediate prime for being able to decode that file format that quickly. You know, maybe if I keep at it for a few more weeks, I might get it. But time is dragging on and I've got other things I've got to get done. So I'm asking the community if anyone can even drop some hints to me about how to decode this particular section. I don't need the other layers. I just simply need the parts, the pins and the networks and how that ties together. If I can work that out, then everything else I can sort of reverse engineer at a later date. Anyway, that's how it is at the moment. There's a little bit of information there. I've put it up on a GitHub. I'll put that in the video uh, comments below. If you can help me, great. And I may be able to drop you some dollars if it's really useful. Thank you very much. Hopefully I'll be hearing from someone with some information. Till then, you'll take care. I'll see you later.